got so long, it look like up to me. They look good to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Yo, what is up you guys? This is your boy Vex. He's coming at you with a video today on my sensitivity in Gears of War 4. And this is the updated video as of May 2018. This is what I play on. And I'm going to tell you why. Alright. So, to get this started, um, here you go. You're looking at it right now. Um, I play on 30-27-27-10-0-0. The 30 I play on because that uh, gives me the ability to... Uh, move my screen more, like move my screen faster while, uh, while I'm viewing the, just the character, like not aiming or anything. So I'm able to wall mouse as much as I want to. I can move the screen so I can, you know, maneuver easier, have, you know, have better movement. Like that's, that's what the look sensitivity is for. Um, this is why I wall mouse as fast as I do. If I play like on a low sensitivity, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing um, as in regards to movement, as in like speed and, you know, having control of wall bouncing as much. Like it takes some time to learn to control of uh, wall bouncing while on 30s and just like um, just learning 30s and being able to like uh, use it effectively like hitting shots all of that but if you're like looking to, to get your wall bouncing up to get your speed up your movement all of that good stuff then I would suggest you play on uh, 30 look sensitivity as it just allows you to, um, like the highest amount of freedom in the game possible so next for my target and zoom I play both of them on 27 I don't switch up my target and zoom because I don't want to have uh, when I zoom in with the um, with a sniper or an M bar or a pistol, I don't want it to be slower or faster than when I just regularly uh, press L T and just zoom in with a shotty or like just aim with a shotty. Um, having it on 27 instead of 30 just helps me uh, be more accurate. Like because when you're hard aim, you want to be more accurate because like that's when you're really focused in when you're you know you're you're L triggering like. You want to hit that that good like full spread shot. You don't want to have to like you don't want to whip your screen on accident because your sensitivity is too high or something. So that's why I feel comfortable on playing that on 27, and that's how I'm very good with the scope as well. Outside of uh, you know move, using my shotgun a lot, so yeah, I use my ta uh, my target and zoom both on 27s um, for pure accuracy, uh, not for like any type of movement reasons at all. Um, also with my target, I mean my target on uh, 27, it helps me focus on my reaction shots a lot more because I usually place my screen where my reaction shot is um, due to my look sensitivity, like I have my character look at them and I just like hit the full spread because of my target being a little slower. So I know like the game is going to slow down a little bit once I uh, air trigger and I usually reaction shot while aiming. So that helps me a lot have being just being more accurate in general. Uh, aim acceleration, um, like this, it's like, it says it's just how quickly the player accelerates while turning. Like this is um, to me, when I, every single time I lower it, it just feels like, like I'm just slowing down my bouncing. It's like I look sensitivity, but it's not it. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know really how to ex uh, explain that one, but I keep it on 10 so I can have the most freedom. But if you lower it at all, you're going to feel yourself like not being able to, uh, to turn your screen as fast after, um, as like upping or after like, like uh, cancel bouncing or something like that. It doesn't, it doesn't feel as fast anymore. Um, next, my inner and outer dead zones. This is like usually what people ask about the most, the inner and outer dead zones, like what do they do? Um, these are like, I think of them as sort of like a, a, a joystick, like sensitivity, but not sensitivity as in like how fast you move your screen. It's literally how sensitive your controller is. So when you put them on zeros, that means that like sometimes if your sticks are not um, as, as good or like brand new or something, your screen might start like drifting off when you're just standing still and not using them at all. And since I have a brand new scuff controller given to me by Rise, I make sure that I, uh, like, you know, I make sure my sticks are clean and all that good stuff. I like, maintain my controller and stuff. I fill with them on zeros. So once again, I have that full freedom. Do whatever I want to. You know, don't walk out however I want to. Like, all that good stuff. And that helps me a lot um, when playing. By just having them both on zero. Because I can whip my screen as much as I want to. Like, my, I just feel very, very loose when I'm playing. Um, Omni off. I play with that because I don't like to roll. When you have Omni on, you're able to roll in more directions. So, like, you know, why would you want that? Why would you want to roll more when you're... You're bouncing a lot and like you're using a lot of the movement system in the game. So um, make sure you like if you want to play like how I do, I will turn it off. So I make sure you like where you can only roll forward, backwards, left and right. And th this like having it on, on, on like just like um, people say it just helps with rolling out of spawn. And uh, usually I just turn my screen and roll, and I don't like feel slower against a spy than any other player on any other professional team. So uh, that never really affected me, and I don't understand how that makes that big of a difference. Um, so. I'm gonna, uh, you guys keep on watching the video for a few clips. I might add another clip after this. 
And that's basically it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, that I'm showing my sensitivities about. And I will see you guys later. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and peace out. Peace